Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm checking out my favorite DJI 04 Lite air unit platform. This is the Meteor 75 Pro from Beta FPV. And I've now been reviewing this for several months. I actually started this review back in the summertime when the leaves were all green. And I'm ending this now when the leaves are multicolored and mostly fallen. That's how long I spent on trying to fine tune and really get as much performance out of this quad as possible. This quad is definitely not a new release. It's been out for many, many months. And even myself on this channel, I reviewed the smaller brother of this around the launch date of the 04 Lite Air unit. And this quad is practically the same. It uses the same fancy canopy mounting mechanism for the 04 Lite camera. It uses the same custom made flight controller from Beta FPV that's designed specifically around the amperage and voltage requirements of the 04 Lite air unit. So it carries forward all those amazing features. However, it is much larger. And with that larger size comes the ability of better handling the additional weight of the 04 air unit. Yes, we call it the 04 Lite, but it still weighs quite a bit more than its analog equivalent and also its HD zero equivalent. You can also see that we are using a modified camera lens to give us more field of view. I do have specific videos on how to do those modifications. I will link them in the video description. Let's start off by doing an unboxing. This is the Meteor 75 Pro HD with Express LRS built in. Opening the package, we're greeted with some black foam. Next, we have a whole bunch of bags. The first bag has everything you need to install your 04 Lite air unit. So we've got the custom gummies for the actual board. We have a shorter aftermarket antenna and then all the rest of the parts here are for mounting the camera and really making sure that we can isolate that camera from vibrations. And that's where these little rubber gummies come in. And the good thing is they do include extras because you will require those when they start to break. Next bag has extra propellers, which is great, a screwdriver and also our USB port. Like most of the Beta FPV quads, the USB port is actually on this little daughter board, which is great. It means less weight on the quad, but you have to make sure you don't lose this piece. Next, we have the quad itself. And then finally, we have the QR code to the knowledge base. And here's the canopy they provide. Interestingly enough, there's only three mounting holes. The front actually does not have a mounting screw. Now looking closer at the quad, really this is no different than the Meteor 75 Pro. However, this board is what really stands out here because this is designed specifically for the 04 light air unit and it has some really interesting ways of raising the battery voltage so that we are able to run our 04 light air unit reliably on a one cell battery that was a big issue at launch time with the 04 air unit otherwise i do see we are using our connectors here for the motors i personally would like direct solder but of course this makes maintenance easier it does add some weight but always some trade-offs and then the motors themselves are Beta FPV branded motors, 1102, 22,000 kV. And then the frame itself feels actually quite durable, but just the right amount of squishiness for protection of the quad and also the walls. Here's a quad assembled and ready to go. And you can see that our modified camera actually fits in here perfectly. I did have to put a couple of dabs of glue on the Beta FPV holder just to make sure it doesn't pop off but it fits perfectly. And as I move this up and down left and right, we can see that there is no interference with the canopy. So the camera is perfectly isolated. That's what you want. You can see how I've routed that camera cable, try to keep it as tidy as possible. And just like my Meteor 65 Pro review, this antenna just kind of sits there and dangles. Now let's do a weight check. So this quad in its stock form, no battery weighs 38.04 grams. Now we can fly this with one of two batteries. We can either use the 1S Lava 450 or the 1S Lava 550. So if I check the 550, our weight's up to 52.29. If I swap that out for the 450, we should be about two grams less. We are 50.33. So you choose the battery based on your type of flight. If you want to go cruise, slow type of flight, go with the 550. If you want to go aggressive, more spritted flight, I prefer the 450. You'll get about 20, 30 seconds less flight time, but the flight time that you do get is more enjoyable with the 450. 
In the last eight or nine months, we've learned quite a bit about the DJI 04 Lite system, and we've also learned a lot about the nuances and the sensitivities of this camera. So one of those unfortunate nuances is just how susceptible this camera is to any kind of vibration. Now, this is not Beta FPV's fault. You can see Beta FPV has done whatever they can to isolate this camera, and they've put in so much isolation in this camera but it's just the realities of what we have here from DJI. So if you fly this quad with this system in really bright weather, you will see jello. I'm not talking about shakes, but jello is where really you see like, like wiggling of, of the image. That will happen in really bright weather. It will also be made worse if you are flying this in 4K 60 frames per second. So what can we do to resolve that? So very easily, if that bothers you, the first thing you can do is come out of 4K 60, go to 1080p 100, 1080p 120. That in itself will resolve about 80% of the jello you're seeing. Now something else we can also do is we can try using different 3D printed canopies just to see if those give us less jello. So I've tried a couple of different ones. I've tried this one here where it allows the camera to actually move around quite a bit. It's fairly lightweight, but unfortunately this one still shows some jello in the video footage. And I'm trying all this testing at 4K 60 in bright weather because that's where I know we will get jello. You can see as I go underneath the deck, as there is less light, the jello completely disappears. But look for the behavior when we are in the sunny section of the backyard. I also tried another 3D print and this one is quite elaborate. It actually is multiple pieces that screw together. It weighs more than the prior 3D print. It also weighs more than the stock canopy from Beta FPV. And funny enough, the actual performance is, is worse. We're getting a lot more jello with this particular canopy. So, so far, all my experience tells me that the stock canopy from Beta FPV with those little isolating balls actually gives you the best performance and the least chance of you having jello. Now, if you have to use 4K60, I do recommend you pick up one of the upgrade camera cables from Flywoo. You want the 60 millimeter one, so the shortest one. And not only does that camera cable weigh just a little bit less than the stock cable from DJI, it's way more flexible. And being way more flexible, it actually allows the camera to better isolate some of that vibration. So all the flight footage you're seeing from now on will be using the upgrade camera cable. Now swapping the camera cable over is a little bit of a, a delicate operation. What you have to do is you need to remove the pieces of glue that's on the actual existing camera cable. And what I find works the best is to use an X-Acto knife to try to kind of prop up the glue. And if you try to prop it up, the glue will actually come off nicely in one piece. So you can see me doing that over here. Just get the knife underneath the glue, give it a little twist and the glue should pop off. I also tried these props from HQ. These are the 45 millimeter by three. And I actually like these more. Not only did they reduce the jello and the shakes and wobbles, they actually made the quad a lot more responsive and better handling. They do eat up a bit more battery, so your flight time will reduce by 10, 15, 20 seconds, but to me, they're well worth it. Similar to my Meteor 65 Pro review, I did go ahead and do a couple of weight saving tricks. So you can see here, I've removed that connector for the air unit. I've actually directly soldered this little tiny connector here. I've gone ahead and used a shorter, kind of mutilated battery lead over here to save some weight as well. And also I did remove those motor connectors and went with lower gauge wires for the motors. Now do bear in mind that you're not able to get these motors now out of the frame without desoldering. So there are a lot of compromises with this kind of setup, but you are gonna save a decent amount of weight. I'm still using the metal screws only because I want the durability of the metal screws. You can save another half a gram or so if you go with peak screws. Ultimately, I came out with two different configurations. Both configurations use the 45 millimeter prop from HQ. That is my preferred prop. Both configurations do use the really soft camera cable from Flywoo, so no difference there. Where there are differences would be the actual canopy. So configuration one uses the Mobila canopy. This is fixed angle. I also did have to 
el elongate this hole here to allow the larger lens to fit through. I just use a Dremel to, to do that. And this configuration will have a little bit of jello, especially at 4K60, especially in very bright weather, but it's the lightest configuration and the configuration that seems to perform the best and be the most fun for someone who is doing more spirited racing kind of a flight. The other thing also to bear in mind with this configuration is that image stabilization will not work very well. The camera doesn't have enough isolation, so you will still see shakes when you're using Rocksteady. So this is truly a, I want to just have fun kind of configuration. And this configuration weighs 34.1 grams. The second configuration uses the stock canopy with the really isolated camera. This removes pretty much all of the jello and the shakes. It also does work with image stabilization. I didn't see any shakes, wobbles, or weirdness in image stabilized mode. Now the FOV is very, very small when you turn on rock steady, but Technically it works. And then weight wise, this configuration weighs 35.27, so a little bit heavier. I really feel that Beta FPV has quite a winner on their hands with this quad. Flying this around the backyard in tight spaces, zipping around the deck, doing freestyle maneuvers around the house, this thing just felt so, so good and confidence inspiring. Yes, it took me a while to finagle it to what you're seeing on the screen and make it perform the way that I'd be happy with, but I really hope this video will accelerate that experience for you out there. I did also find that this quad is insanely durable. The only thing that broke for me was this little peg that secures the screw for the canopy. Now it's possible because I keep removing, installing different canopies that that's what caused the, the weakness in the plastic, but otherwise no issues from a durability perspective. Flight time is pretty decent as well. You can get three to four minutes of flight time depending on what kind of power settings you're using on the DJI transmission. Other than that, um, I did do a custom pit tune using my go-to software, which is Pit Toolbox, just to squeeze as much performance out of this as possible. Now, if you do find this video helpful, I do appreciate you using my link in the description to purchase this. It does go a long way to making it possible for me to make these kinds of videos. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.